It's nothing but just connect a PMOS transistor in parallel to my pre-charged transistor. So this is my PMOS. This is now my keeper, correct? With an input and the keeper's input will be driven by the output of the static or the output of the domino logic. So this is my keeper transistor. Now let's see what will this keeper do for the first problem. For the first problem, when phi was equal to 1 and a was equal to 0, that means initially, let's see the series of sequence, phi equal to 0, so my x was VDD. Now phi became 1, a equal to 0, so x should be VDD. So what happens is, technically in this case, it used to lose out on its value because of chart leakage. However, in this case, what's going to happen is, x is equal to VDD or logic 1 which goes to an inverter which produces a logic 0 at the output. This 0 will be given to the PMOS which will keep the output x to node 1. So even when phi is equal to 1 because of the keeper circuit my x will be kept at logic 1 when a is equal to 1 or in this case a is equal to 1. In other cases it means that the pull down transistors are non-functional. Now what would happen if a would have been 1 and phi also would have been 1. That means my A transistor is on, this is off, but it had pre-charged X to 1, so this is on. Phi is 1, so this is also on. So technically my circuit reduces to a keeper transistor, a transistor A which is having an input 1 which is on, a footer transistor phi which is also 1, so this is on. So technically I want a 0 at my output. Whereas because of the keeper circuit, what's going to happen is it was initially pre-charged to 1. I want a 0, right? It was initially pre-charged to 1, which is going to an inverter, which will produce a 0 at the output, which will go to this keeper. So this is also on, this is also on, and this is also on. So technically you want your output to go to 0, and we have seen this in the case of 0 and more circuits, that you would want to make your keeper transistor weaker to your pull-down transistors, and hence you can achieve the functionality. So I have seen both the cases how my chart leakage problem is avoided by keeping a weak keeper transistor. However, the designing of keeper circuits is very very challenging because of the following. That was a second drawback, right? For the noise margin, if for some reason this input A, technically it was zero, but because of noise it got corrupted and it just went greater than threshold voltage at that point of time you don't want your pull down circuit to function but you want your pull up to keep your output to a logic one and this is possible if we have strong keepers because they improve the noise margin when the inputs are slightly above VT and they will supply enough current to hold the output high. How they do it that will be understood if we size the keepers Currently in this clip what we have understood is keepers help us in reducing the noise margin. They also help us in avoiding the problem of charge leakage. For charge leakage the keeper transistors needs to be weak in size. For noise margin the keeper transistors need to be strong in size. So designing of keeper transistors is itself a challenge. I hope you have understood the need for keeper transistors. Stay tuned for further clips and thank you very much.